this video, I'm going to cover the differences between rebasing in the CLI versus Gitkraken when a conflict occurs. If you haven't seen the previous video in which I cover rebasing with the CLI versus rebasing with Gitkraken, I recommend you do so before watching this video. What I want to do is just quickly show uh, another rebase where we're getting a conflict. So I'm going to clear out and I'm going to switch to another branch, git checkout to a branch just called My Changes. And now I want to rebase on top of a branch called Punchup. Again, I've just got a couple changes just called my changes, and I want to rebase it on top of my punch up branch. Git rebase uh, origin uh, punch up. And now we can see we're actually getting a merge conflict, which can happen during rebasing. It's a little bit difficult to see what's going on, so I'm just going to do a quick git status. Now we can see, okay, there's an issue. Both are just trying to modify this throne room file. So let's just open it up in our text editor. And now we can see here's the merge conflict. We've got two conflicting changes, and we have to uh, just resolve the conflict before we can continue with uh, our rebase. I've got two versions right here, one where actually Chewbacca gets his medal, which is great, and one where he does not. So let's be nice and let's give uh, Chewbacca his medal. Let's just delete this head version and clean up this other section to resolve the conflict and get it to the state that we want. Go ahead and save. Now we need, of course, to stage those changes. And I'll do a quick get status again. Great, so now it says that all conflicts have been resolved. I can go continue the rebase, git rebase continue. And now there's another conflict, so we've got to do the same thing over again. I'll just do a git quick get status. Now I see, all right, it's the opening crawl. Let's update this in our text editor. You know, they wanted to make it called A New Hope. We wanted to call it episode four, The Hope Awakens. So that's an awesome title. So let's just call it that and resolve that merge conflict, save. Now, of course, we have to stage our changes again. So now it says that all conflicts have been resolved and I can continue on with my rebase. So git rebase, continue. And now I'm finally done because it's not getting any errors. So we assume that everything has gone right. So now let's take a look at doing those exact same changes in git Kraken. I've got my branch called my changes that I want to rebase on top of this uh, punch out that was done remotely. To do this, we just drag and drop and click Rebase My Changes on top of Punch-Up. All right, now, of course, we would expect uh, to actually get a merge conflict because we did the same thing in the, the command line. But Git Kraken actually has its own merge editor. So I can see, all right, it's the throne room scene that has a conflict. This is Git Kraken's merge editor. So we could very easily just see the changes on each branch. And all we need to do is just select which changes. I've got this version where Chewie gets a medal, this one where he does not. Let's just, you know, give Chewbacca a medal. Now let's continue on. Just say continue rebase. Now I've got my second conflict. And I can just pull this here. So do we want a new hope or the hope awakens? So I'm going to select the hope awakens. And now one of the great things with Git Kraken Pro is that we can actually edit the output right here. I can just say, okay, let's call it the phantom hope awakens. And now I can just go and save that. All of my changes have been done. Let's continue the rebase and we're all finished. So now you can see I've got my changes branch on top of punch up and everything is a nice clear line. So it's very easy to see exactly what has been done in Git Kraken. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and be sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't already.